I think everybody in this room today and anyone watching uh, realizes one of their biggest bills is their electric bill. And with a, as Representative Candelora mentioned, with a two point, two and a half billion dollar price tag to try and make the grid uh, uh, have the capacity to do this will add even more to your uh, monthly bill. Not to mention, if you have a heavy duty truck that weighs considerably more, costs four times as much and has half the range, and can't carry about a third less capacity, what's going to do to your uh, grocery bills? People out there should be worried because if this goes through, your electric bill goes up, your grocery bill goes up, and to, and to what end? Is this going to really uh, affect the environment in Connecticut that much. Everyone behind you is here is concerned with the environment and clean air. And he, on the Environment Committee, we deal with it uh, every, every day. But the problem is, right now, the, where's the generating capacity in Connecticut? It's fossil fuels. Orsted just pulled out uh, offshore wind. They pulled out of there because interest rates, there's no profit in it. So until we have a way to lower people's electric bills so they <coughs> perhaps want to buy an electric vehicle, and, and as I said in meetings with DEP, if these are so great, why do you have to mandate them? And what are you going to do when there's a busy day in I-95 and you've got backups all the way down the uh, entrance ramps to get into the rest areas to try and charge? What's it take everyone in the room? Three, five minutes to gas up their car? And now you're going to sit for 40 minutes on a hot or a cold day with three little kids in the car? What are you going to do? It's just not feasible right now. We have a, a system, an electric grid right now where you have transformers outside your house. Those are meant to cool at night. You start plugging in electric vehicles, what happens to transformers? Poof. So it, then the towns are going to start limiting what streets can charge and what, what times. And part of their plan is if we all plug in our electric vehicles, they're going to borrow power back and forth from uh, the battery packs in your cars. There is no plan in pay, place here forcing the people of Connecticut into this very expensive uh, option. I, I see it as a kind of a reverse Robin Hood because we have to subsidize the vehicles, we have to su subsidize the, the grid, and it's forcing our middle and lower class to, uh, to bear the brunt of the cost. And until we have a real system where we can get cheap, clean electricity in, in Connecticut, you're simply trading tailpipe for smokestack. Thank you.